assign, that's how you cancel out those middle terms when you distribute again. Just by show of hands, how many people are okay with the difference of squares? Good, very good. If you're still a little bit like, how in the world are you getting this? Come and see me. Or refresh your memory by looking at that video the very first time we did factoring, it's on there. So we go, all right, well, I know that x squared minus 4, and you're going to be able to do this without the step after a while, is x minus 2, x plus 2. We can double check it, x squared plus 2x minus 2x, that, cancel, that simplifies to 0, minus 4, and that's exactly what we have here. So the very first step is we're going to factor the numerator and denominator completely. This one was done. This one was a difference of squares. We have that right here. Nod your head if you're okay. So far. Okay, good. The second and the last step is what we're going to do now is we're going to cross out, we're going to simplify out any common factors, not common terms, common factors. I'll show you the difference in just a second. But write this down. Write this step down. You're going to simplify. Common factors. Not common terms. Not. So let's do this thing. Do you see any common factors up here? Things that are exactly the same on both the numerator and denominator that are factors. Factors are things that are multiplied together. So multiplied together. So this right here and this right here, these big pieces, notice how they're being multiplied? Those are factors. What you can do, you can simplify all of a factor or nothing at all. You can't go through and simplify parts. For instance, here's what I mean by terms. This right here is a term. That right there is a term. That's a term, that's a term, that's a term, that's a term. Are you with me on this? Mm -hmm. What you can never, ever, ever do is factor something or simplify something that's connected by an addition or subtraction because that is a term. So what you couldn't do is cross out the twos. You can't do that. Those are terms. Those are not factors. Factors are pieces that are multi big pieces, typically, that are multiplied together. Not yet. You okay with that? Mm -hmm. You sure? Yes. Shake your head if you're not. Okay. So do we have something that's exactly the same? Two x similar plus factors. Two, x plus two. We have one of them here. Now if you wrote this as two different ones, that's fine also. That doesn't really matter. We can simplify this out just like we did the five. That one's gone. Are both of these gone? One is gone. Just one. So I'm just going to simplify the, out that, that squared portion of it. That's leaving me one x plus two. Oh, how many times do you think that would happen in a row? <laughs> That's like a quarter and it laying on edge. Okay. So do you all agree that there's, there's an x plus 2 left on our numerator? What's left on our denominator? Okay, important question for you. Can I simplify these x's? No. no. Do you notice how these are not factors? They're being added and subtracted uh, by, by that number 2. These are terms here. They're not factors. Factors will be multiplied. Typically, for us right now, they're in parentheses or they're at the beginning of our problems. All right? They're not included within our, our parentheses. That would be terms. We're completely simplified there. x plus 2 over x minus 2. Let's try a few more, all right? Get some of these under our belt. Okay, right off the bat, I got a question for you. Um, would it be okay to simplify the 3y cubed with this 3y cubed? Is that okay or not? What do you think? No. Clearly no. No, no, no. This has a subtraction right in front of it. But there's no way we can simplify that. We can't even do, look at the board, we can't even do the y cubed and the y cubed, right? Because this piece still has that subtraction right there. It's got to be completely multiplied. So everything or nothing, that's the idea. So what we're going to try to do is factor this thing. 
does the numerator factor? Yeah. Numerator, numerator is how many terms? One. Can't really factor one term. We're going to leave that alone. How about the denominator? Does the denominator factor? Yes. Sure. That actually has, what's that called again when you have something similar to both terms? <coughs> You say that, say louder? That's right. Yeah. Greatest common factor or the GCF, this has one. So let's factor out the GCF. Let's look carefully at the denominator. What's the number that goes into both these terms? Three. How about the ver largest variable that's common to both? Y squared. So we're going to factor out 3y cubed. Remember factoring or creating parentheses? This should be like old news to you guys, I hope. If you factor out 3y cubed from our first term, do this on the side if you want to, or do it in your head, this is how much? 2y. Good. And then we'll have a minus how much? 1. Very good. Are you okay on getting the 2y minus 1, folks? Good. So we factor out 3y squared, or 3y cubed, I'm sorry. We're going to get the 2y. We're going to get the minus. One, and now we're going to look for any common factors on the numerator denominator. Do we have any common factors on the numerator denominator? Yes. <coughs> this isn't being added or subtracted by anything, right? We can simplify that. That's great. This is like a factor itself. You can pretend it's multiplied by one if you want, just to make sure you know it's a factor. This thing is a factor. It's being multiplied by this entire expression. Are you with me on that? That means this is a factor, that's a factor, they're exactly the same. This is, the be this is the best part of the class. We get to make things look better. Gone. So would you have to change the sign because the, the other one's on the bottom? The 2y and the 1? Change the sign. No, we don't have to change any I signs. Have to do it's what I am going to ask you is, is this equal to 2y minus 1 like that? No. Explain that. Because the 2y is on the bottom, not on the top. Uh -huh. So. Since this is on the denominator of fraction, I mean, we can't magically just move to the top, right? But we're not Harry Potter. We don't have like a math wand. Bam! Move to the top. That'd be awesome, but we don't have that. I've got the glasses, but not the... <laughs> More like Voldemort anyway. I'm just kidding. I'm not. I had an Harley face. You see that? See the movie? It's crazy looking. Anyway, so the the problem is is yeah we can't move this to the new this would be a numerator of fraction this would be like just the the value itself we can't do that uh, what actually happens here is that when we simplify just like we simplify here we get ones right mm -hmm. we get one over one and so this would become a one which is why we're getting the two y minus one but this is also a one so be careful when you simplify you will get stuff like this on your homework don't just eliminate the numerator and put the denominator. If you eliminate the numerator, you really haven't eliminated it, you just made it a 1. And so this is 1 over that. That's the proper way to write that. So we're factoring the numerator and the denominator, and then we're going to simplify common factors, not common terms. Let's try, we're going to have several more of these things. Let's try a couple, a couple more right now. I'll show you one more thing. Do two more after that and be about done. like those ones, right? <laughs> Can we simplify anything the way it is right now? <laughs> what about the x squared and the x squared? Can we, can we just cross those out? No. We'd love to, but no, we can't. It has to be look like it's in parentheses or at least be a factor, something like we've had before. So what are we going to do with this problem if I'm asking you to simplify it? How do we factor these things? Say it again. Method. Let's do the diamond method. Now here's the question. We just learned this. I re, we relearned this like 10 minutes ago. Do I need the extra step to split the middle terms or not? In this one, yeah, I do. I do need the extra step. Don't waste your time when you don't, but you do here. 
Um, take a, take two minutes. See if you can back to these. You should be you should be pros at this right now. Almost every homework assignment besides that last one has had factoring in it. I hope you remember how to set this up. Just help me out with this one step. What goes on the top for the for our numerator? Okay, and on the on the bottom here? One. Five. Just making sure you remember how to do that. The B goes here, the A times C goes here. This is pretty much like three problems in one. Which is why I said you gotta learn how to factor correctly, right? Because if you don't know how to factor this, how are you supposed to simplify it? In the other one, you need four and you need what was down here? You multiply Seven. those. You multiply those. A times C. Okay, we're about to get going on this thing. I'm going to get started up here on the board. If you're still going, cool, work on it. Make sure you can factor these correctly. Okay, so up here, we have the negative 6 and the 5. Are you okay on getting those two numbers, folks? Good. We're going to find two numbers that add to negative 6 right. and multiply to 5. The only thing that's going to multiply to 5 is like 5 and 1. That's it. So I know they both have to be negative because this is a positive and that's a negative. So we're going to do negative 5 and negative 1. Did you get negative 5 and negative 1? Mm -hmm. Good. We cannot do this. In this particular case, because we have a coefficient of 5, we just covered that again, right? So we can't do this one here. But what we do is we split that middle term up. This is where I said we have the extra steps. So we have the 5x squared minus 